Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we have a quick tutorial because I haven't had a lot of time to uh, create a big tutorial from uh, any requests or anything like that. So uh, what we'll be doing today is RGB splitting and let me show you exactly uh, what we'll be creating. So just that little split and this will work for any type of footage of using video footage or you're using motion graphics like this or whatever you're doing, this will work on anything. So um, this is actually uh, basically my new logo for, uh, uh, well, a new channel. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say for that. Um, but it, the channel will be Sunduck1. So guys, let me know what you think about this logo, um, if it makes any sense. So Sunduck1 is the channel. So, so let's get started by dragging our footage into a new composition. And let's go ahead and duplicate this layer by going up to edit duplicate and let's turn off the bottom layer for now and then let's go up to effect channel and we'll go ahead and select the set channels effect and let's go ahead and see we have a little bit we have a few uh, parameters here where it says green let's set that to off and where it says blue let's set that off as well and then let's duplicate uh, this layer down here and let's turn off uh, the red channel and then let's set the uh, green channel to green and then once again, we will duplicate our layer here and let's set off the green channel and let's turn on the blue channel, just like that. And then with all three of these layers selected here, let's set the blending mode to add. And now they all kind of come together just like that. And what we'll do now is basically we will hit, uh, select all three layers and hit P on our keyboard to bring up position. And let's alt click the stopwatch uh, for position and let's type in wiggle. Uh, open parenthesis, maybe 10, comma 20, close parenthesis. And now we have wiggling for the uh, top layer here. And let's go ahead and copy this and basically just all click all the stopwatches and paste this uh, expression in each of these layers. So now we have this uh, jitter effect. And now that we have it all set up, let's go ahead and select all three of these layers. And let's go up to uh, layer, pre-compose, and let's just call it um, RGB split. Well, I cannot type. I can never type. Okay. And let's um, let's see. Let's go ahead and say we want we want the uh, RGB splitting to start right here. So we'll just trim the beginning here, and move forward by a few frames or whatever. And then we'll go up to uh, basically edit uh, split layer, and then. Uh, we can go forward a little bit more and then say, hey, we want the animation to, or the RGB splitting to start here. So then we have uh, this gap. So let me turn on the bottom layer here. So so basically it's normal, and then we have the RGB splitting, and then it goes back to normal, and it goes back to RGB splitting. And then we can split the layer, maybe just delete it. So that's a quick way to do RGB splitting. And I gave a little insight what this logo was about, and I don't know how many of you guys knew uh, what I did back maybe six years ago. Um, but let's just say... Um, I did a little bit of this, if you know what this is about, and I will be posting a trailer on, you know, what I'll be doing at the end of this week. So, um, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop down a comment below, or if you have any requests or tutorials, please let me know. Uh, you can check out my social media links in the description, so please hit me up on there if you have any requests for tutorials. And um, if this video has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And guys, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you soon.